Hello friends, I want to show you how to do um, integration using the Calculus Made Easy app. So I will show you first how to do integrals with a with one variable and afterwards with two variables. So let's just jump right into it. If you know the integration method that you would like to use, such as integration by parts, you can just enter your given function up here, x times sine of x, and assign immediately what u and v prime would have to be in order to perform the integration by parts method. Okay, so the rule is stated here, and then you can clearly see that if u is x, then it is plugged in for u right here, and v the integral of sine, which is negative cosine, is plugged in here, minus integral u prime times v, which is written here. And then you just do out this second integral, which is cosine x, to get sine of x, and you arrive at the final answer. Now that is, if you know the method that you're using to integrate. If you are not sure, you can just do step-by-step -step integration and just type in, for example, x times sine of x, and of course, Calculus Made Easy will automatically find the correct integration method, which is integration by parts, which we just saw. Okay, it does it out step by step until you arrive at the final answer, just like what we saw on the other screen. So this is all for one variable. One variable um, functions. Now let's do two variable functions. That go for that we go to multivariable calculus, and we select double integrals or we also have triple integrals of course and we can also integrate um, polar uh, functions with polar coordinates okay but let's start off with double integral so we have to enter our function here sine for example sine of x times cosine of y and here we enter our x bounds. If you want a pi, we just type in pi. Make that the upper bound, so 0 comma pi over 2. And again, 0 comma pi over 2. Okay, we look at the bottom screen, we can see that there's a double integral here. Double integral sine x cosine y and the inside integral is with respect to y, so it uses these y bounds. Then the integration is performed to leave us with a single integral, which ends up to be sine of x dx, and that, when performed, gives us 1. Now if we scroll down, sorry, we scroll down here, and then we can see that the steps, the, sin, the integral of sine x uh, times cosine y dy just turns out to be sine y times sine of x. Because the non-y uh, function, which is the sine of x, is kept constant, or is considered a constant, as you can see here, and so we're just integrating cosine of y, which turns out to be sine of y and then over the interval from 0 to pi over 2. And when we do that out, when we plug in our bounds, we end up with uh, just the integral of sine of x. That's why we have sine of x left here. Okay? And of course, you can do this integration for any function um, with respect to x and y. So, for example, x squared times y cubed, as we had before. Sorry, y cubed.
And if we do our bonds from 0 to 1, and let's say here the y's go from 0 to 2, then we can see our double integral setup right here. The simplified integral and then the solution to our uh, problem. And the steps can be viewed down here. Okay? So uh, let me also show you um, how to integrate a function with polar uh, coordinates. So that is right here, option H. So we enter our function with respect to x and y. Then we're using the conversion, which is x is equal to r times cosine and y is r times sine. And when we do the conversion, we also get an extra factor of r in our integrand. So our function 2xy turns out to, to be 2 times sine y cosine y times r cubed. Now the bounds are in a polar coordinate, or they're using polar coordinates. R, the last two figures here, are the two bounds for uh, the radius, 2 to 5, and the first two are the angle, 0 to pi over 2. And of course, if you scroll down, you can see the simplified integral and the final solution right here. So that allows you to deal with integrals of polar functions. And lastly, let me also show you a, a triple integral. So now instead of entering x and y, we can enter function x, y, and z, such as this one. And now the bounds here, 1, 2, um, we scroll up, our triple integral here, uh, 1 and 2 are the bounds for x, 3 and 4 are the bounds for y, and 0, 2 are the bounds for z. So that's the only thing that you need to know when you enter the six bounds. Okay, so that defines a region, R. And then, of course, same as with double integrals, a triple integral is reduced to a double integral, which is reduced to a single integral, and you arrive at the final answer. So that's how you deal with integration for single, double, and triple integrals. Thanks for watching.